right, well, at 926, selling a home is a huge decision, one that takes a lot of planning to get top dollar. So here to show us how to make the best impression with potential buyers, along with the biggest mistakes to avoid, is Caroline Carter, author of Smart Moves, How to Save Time and Money While Transitioning Your Home and Life. Uh, great book here. And by the way, we should say uh, really quickly that this book is going to be free on Amazon Wednesday, Thursday, Friday as an ebook. So make sure that you pick this up. Some great tips. Um, Moving can be really overwhelming, <laughs> stressful as well when you're selling your house. What are some of the biggest things that we need to know? Well, one of the biggest things you need to know is that selling your house is actually not about you. It's about the buyer. Yeah. Okay, to that extent, we want to take a cold, hard, non-emotional assessment or non-emotional look at the exterior and interior of the house to make sure that we're designing it to appeal to the largest cross-section of buyers for the property. Okay, that makes so sense. So as an example today, we've brought how to glam up our front door. So we've got front door jewelry. Very often we'll need a coat of um, fresh paint. Okay. We'll replace the handset. So you're a using new, a lot of brass, exactly. Because that well, the they first come thing in different people finishes, look, right? Okay, right. But we want it to be noticeable from the street and in the money shot, right? Yes. The first photos someone sees um, when they're looking on the internet. So we might put in a, a mail slot, okay. a brass kick plate, and a new door mat, door knocker, so that it all matches. Okay. Now we do want to be able to find you from the street, so we'll use this um, wooden black plaque. Okay. Spray paint it, Rust-Oleum spray paint, uh -huh. add my Baldwin brass numbers, finish it off with a, a basic Greek key mat, okay. and don't forget our planters. Right now it's spring. The only thing that's really going to live are our white pansies and green ivy. Okay. We're Perfect. done. And that's not going to cost you all that much, and again, it's that first impression first that a buyer is going to I got see. it all at Home Depot. For, for less than 300 bucks. All right. Um, next thing that we can do, you said, is a little fresh paint. So, so paint is really critical. It's not about our personal preference. And we may have designed our home using you know, a myriad of different colors that reflect our personal taste. Mm -hmm. But when you're trying to speak to a large cross-section of potential buyers for the property, you want to stay neutral. I used two colors from Benjamin Moore. I used Navajo white and classic gray. I used two trims. Um, white Dove for older homes, Simply White for newer homes, and Ceiling White. It's the best money you'll ever spend. And I feel like especially when you do something lighter, everything kind of looks a little bit bigger, everything looks a little cleaner, and then the buyer can come in and they can kind of start visualizing right. how they want to design That's it. exactly right. Okay. That's exactly right. Um, I see a lot of, you know, the, the personalized, you know, the trophies and the pictures. Exactly. Do you recommend just taking all of that down? So this is one of the most difficult parts of the total home transition process for yeah. people. It, it is very emotional. Yeah. Um, and the problem is, in order to make a house a home, we all surround ourselves with, talk about ivy. Well, we use emotional ivy mm. to make a house a home. So we surround ourselves with our tombstones from business and our, our diplomas and our personal photos and our mementos and so forth. Put them all away. They're distracting. A buyer is very distracted to begin with. Okay. So you really want to focus their attention on what you're selling, and that's the bricks and mortar and not you know, your latest trip to Greece. Yeah, and I didn't realize this. You said that the average house has about 300,000 items in it. And I guess when you're taking all this down, this is a good opportunity for you to kind of pack and organize it as well. That That's exactly right, Eileen. So, so our process, the total home transition process, does look very uniquely at this move from, from one house to the next. Okay. And so far as we look at it like one continuous process mm -hmm. instead of selling and then moving. You're actually staging to sell mm -hmm. and packing to move at the same time. That's important. I think that's a good way of looking at it. Well, it's so that you don't have to go back and redo things. You're doing it, you're front loading the process. So yeah. you're doing it all at the same time. You're gonna use your blue one inch painter's tape. Okay. Right here. Okay. And your black Sharpies. That is going to be your overall method of designation for each item you own. When you're talking about 300,000 things, and clearly not everybody has 300,000, but a lot of people do. Yeah. You want to make a decision once. Am I going to pack it to store it? Uh -huh. Am I going to sell it, consign it, or you know, sell it on auction? Is it even worth anything? Okay. Um, am I going to dump and donate it? So you're in order to actually prepare for the move, you're going to need the right packing materials. People are absolutely flummoxed. I, I don't know what kind of packing materials I need. Obviously, you need small, medium, and large boxes. You're also going to need picture cartons and three-ply acid-free paper to wrap your all your artwork that you're not going to display. You want paper tape rather than 
um, paper tape rather than plastic tape because it sticks on every surface. Yeah. Um, I wish we had more time because I know there was a ton of stuff over on the couch that we had. I guess also just some of the nuts and bolts. What is the biggest thing that people, what's the biggest mistake people make? I think the biggest mistake people make is thinking that their house is the exception. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, well, anyways, we could talk, obviously, for another half hour on this, but you can get the book, uh, Smart Moves, How to Save Time and Money While Transitioning Your Home and Life. Caroline Carter, thank you so very much for your time. Thank you, Eileen. I appreciate it, and happy selling to all of you uh, about to put your home.